Hello folks. Uh, good morning. I can be very uh, conservative when it comes to my own emotions. Um, and uh, those of you who watch this channel at all know that I, I grew up on progressive rock in Genesis to an almost alarming degree, perhaps. And uh, among the first videos that I filmed, something like eight years ago, uh, was me basically ranting and raving that I was upset about Robert Criscow not giving some of Genesis's classic albums more than more than B level grades, and um, you know at the time that I actually published that, I I don't think I really like felt that all that strongly, but like remembering all that the band had meant to me growing up, I I was angered and irritated, but like based on who I was from the past and who I insisted on being, but maybe wasn't totally. Um, now, just, just to clarify, I, I still love the band Genesis, particularly the Peter Gabriel era material. Um, it just can't be part of my life anymore because there's no possible way it can mean as much to me now as it did back then. So I almost don't really listen to it that much. Um, but that's not even really the point of this review. Uh, I want to talk about uh, Chris Gow and, and the idea of progressive rock and uh, the fact that he really had legitimate reason to be upset about this phenomenon. And the reason is, is that the idea of progressive rock really goes totally against the idea of rock and roll in the first place. Now the way I see it, this is probably simplified, but rock and roll at its best is sort of a an exercise in sticking it to the man when the man is being unjust. That's rock and roll at its best. At its worst, it's just people engaged in disgusting, destructive behavior. But at its best, it's standing up to institutional injustice. So, when people come around and try to try to progress rock and roll by talking about things like mythical creatures and getting rock and roll closer to classical music and, you know, the stuffiness and the elitism that that, in certain senses, represents. To a guy like Chris Gow and to someone who grew up on rock and roll and who took its aspirations or at least the best of its aspirations, seriously, this could be a very, very, very insulting idea. All right? Um, you know, rock and roll wasn't, wasn't built upon, you know, uh, virtuoso musicianship. All right? That was not, that didn't even make sense. That wasn't the best way to, to sort of approach and try to combat institutional injustice. I mean, just think about it. Why, why would 6,000 chords and 2 trillion notes be helpful in combating that? Why should only people who graduate, you know, the Berkeley School of Music be able to, to combat <laughs> injustice in a particularly profitable way? You know, I mean, you know, combating this injustice should be kind of very, very direct. And it should be the kind of thing that, you know, the people can involve themselves in, you know? And in this case, the people. Not that we ever really know who the people are. You know, the people are always mysterious. But, but the people, in this case, certainly aren't required to be virtuoso musicians. So, talking like things like, you know, Greek mythology and adding lots of chords and virtuoso musicians and British accents to rock music and calling it progress could be a very, very insulting idea. Now... I didn't have this background, you know. I wasn't around when rock and roll came about, so I'm much, much less sold on the idea of rock and roll, and, you know, I see a lot more of the negatives that came with it, although I can still sometimes see its aspirational aspects as well. But um, really, for me, progressive rock was often just an exercise in childhood joy, and I don't think I can be blamed for that. You know, I went to an Osric Tentacles concert once, and they're not, they're not really my thing exactly, but 
I was in the audience and I was twisting knobs ferociously because there's a certain nerdy joy that progressive rock can bring that unless you've experienced it you don't know what I'm talking about but I, I assure you it's a real thing that exists but simultaneously I understand why a person who really believes in rock and roll would not find progressive rock to be indicative of progress at all. Thanks guys, have a nice day. Bye bye.